that I have power to lay it down, verses 17 and 18 of John 10. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. Now, who else can say that besides Jesus? Uh, it's true of everyone else that other men may take their life from them. But no man took Jesus' life from him. Amen. Only he had power to lay it down. So in this sense, the first miracle in his death and resurrection is that he died. He actually, it was a miracle that he died, that he laid his life down. But then only Jesus is the only man that can say this, I have power to take it up again. It's completely unique to Jesus that after he has died... He has power to take his life again. Now, he's not the only one who ever rose from the dead. Although his resurrection is unique, there were other men before that were raised from the dead. There were men that came out of their graves when Jesus died. Remember, they stayed in their graves until Jesus rose again. But Jesus' resurrection is unique to him in that he took his own life again. He brought it back. He raised again. There's a, a few other things that are unique to only Jesus. He's the only begotten of the Father. That's right, yeah. He's the only one. Now, we're born again in him. He's the only begotten of the Father. Another unique thing to Jesus is that he's the only one that was born of a virgin. That's right. This confirms that he is he's from above. Amen. He was born of a virgin. Right. He's the only man that is without sin. Right. Yeah. See, Jesus is unique. In, in many regards. Jesus has power to take his life up again. Here's one supporting uh, fact that Jesus had power to take his life up again, that the wages of sin is death, yet he did not sin. So he succumbed, he, he put himself, so to speak, in the grips of death. Otherwise, death would have had, had no claim on him. So because death had no claim on him to begin with, death had no claim to keep him. So he was able to take up his life because he had never sinned. Yeah. There was nothing there to keep him except his own determination to do the will of God. That's right. So the wages of sin is death. Here's in Acts chapter 2, verse 24, uh, Peter, he said, It was impossible that he should be holden of it, yeah. speaking of the grave. It wasn't possible that he should be. It was, in, in, in a sense, it was a miracle that Jesus was, uh, was dead for three days. It was impossible that he should be holding of it. He took up his own life, own life again. Jesus told the disciples many times in his teaching, he, I don't think he ever said this to the multitudes, but he did say it to his disciples, that the Son of Man must be handed over and be crucified, and the third day shall rise again. Now think about how unique this is. The one who is going to die is telling the disciples that he's going to rise again. I'm going to die, and I'm going to rise again. This wasn't a prayer request. This was a prophecy. He wasn't saying this is, this is how it's going down, and, and, and uh, I, 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 we're, this is the plan. He was saying this is what's going to happen. He had said, like the prophet said, he had set his face like a flint to go to Jerusalem. So he was... He was prophesying that he was, his life was going to be handed over and then he was going to, going to take it up again. It's ha it has to be this way. If, if he's the prince of life, mm -hmm. then surely he will take up his own life again. Yeah. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 18, he said to John, Behold, I was dead. Behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of hell and of death. See, there's some more revelation about him taking his life again. He has the keys of death. Yeah, that's right. Though he unlocked it, not only for himself, but for us also. Uh -huh. And in fact, in, in some sense, he unlocked it for every man. Because as in Adam, all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Now that resurrection, uh, it, it'll be good for those who believe, but not good for those who don't believe. But just in, in spite of that, Jesus purchased a resurrection for every man when he rose from the dead he holds the key of death revelation 1 18 now <clears throat> now there is nothing in the gospel that is irrelevant there's there's nothing that is impractical 
I, I know people, uh, they, they, they strain for what, what does that mean for me? What does that mean to us today? As if, as if God said something or anything that really missed the mark, yeah. you know, that, that could be just pushed aside without any consequence. But here's what, here is something that this means to us, not to say that there's anything in the scriptures that doesn't mean anything to us, but here's what this means to us, that Jesus took up his life again means that he's qualified to be the Savior. He took up his life from the dead, and now he is, he, he said it this way, because I live, you will live also. See, he's qualified then to rescue us from death. Romans 5.10 says, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. We're being, he reconciled us in his death, and he's saving us in his life. Yeah. He who took up his own life is the one who he's qualified to save. He's fully, fully suited, fully capable, and fully sufficient to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him. He's saving us by his life. Here's, here's another thing. He that took up his own life again, 1 John 4, 4, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yeah. Now, what does, what does this mean? How does this change your, uh, your resisting the devil when you, when you remember, he who took up his own life again is in me? Amen. He took up, is there, is there anything that we wrestle, we struggle with a lot of things, but is there anything that is a, is a, is a difficulty for me? Is it difficult for him? If it's a challenge for me, is it a challenge for him? He took up his own life. Yeah. See, this really puts things in perspective. Mm -hmm. When you're under circumstances, it might be hard to see this. So yeah. get, you got to get out from underneath the circumstance yeah. and see, seeing that he took up his own life, yeah. see, it can rescue you from being under these circumstances. Yeah. It's, yeah. Really not, it's really not what, what's difficult for us is not a challenge for him. Yeah. Jesus is not taxed by what taxes us. Yeah. He took up his own life. Amen. Here's another thing that this means, he's, that he's worthy of us to trust him. Mm -hmm. Re Romans 15, 12, he shall rise to raise over the, uh, reign over the Gentiles, and him shall the Gentiles trust. Mm -hmm. He who took up his own life, you can trust in this man. Mm -hmm. yeah. He yeah. took up his own life. Why wouldn't you be able to trust him? Why, wouldn't you, why would you not be safe in his care if he took up his own life you, you can trust in, in, in this man. Surely. He's worthy of trust. He's honored by our trust. And you, you won't be disappointed for trusting in him. He took up his own life. Then surely, surely he is, he's worthy of our trust and we shall be uh, safe in trusting him. John 10, 28, Jesus said, Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. He took, no, no man could pluck his life from him. Mm -hmm. He took up his own life, and now whoever the Father gives to Jesus, no man plucks him out of Jesus' hand. Amen. He took up his own life, and he's surely able to keep us. In Hebrews 2.28, there's another uh, application of this. He is able to succor them that are tempted. He's, see, he, he succumbed to death of his own will, and he took his own life back of his own will, and therefore he's able to help those who are tempted. Yes. He's, see, we have not yet in, endured unto death, but he has. Yeah. See, this is the kind of helper that you want. Mm -hmm. You want a helper who has not only been through what you've been through, you want a helper who has been through more than what you've been through. Mm -hmm. You want a helper who has been victorious in what he's been through. He took up his own life, and therefore now he is, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Lastly, <clears throat> Philippians 3, verse 21, he is able to subdue all things to himself. Yes. It's the last verse of that uh, wonderful chapter, Philippians 3. He shall change our vile bodies that they be fashioned like unto his glorious body mm -hmm. by the power whereof he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Even when he was in this world, Jesus asked the question, do you not know that my father, if I ask of my father, he shall not give me 12 legions of angels? If that was true when he was in his humbled state, what, is, what can be said of him now? He has a power even to subdue all things unto himself. We don't see yet all things subdued unto him, but we will. We will see all things subdued unto him. And he that, he that took up his own life, 
by the same power, he's able to subdue all things to himself. So, brethren, I suggest that we abide in him. Amen. He took up his own life. So abide in him. He's able to subdue all things unto himself. So abide in him. I suggest there is no safety except in this man. Amen. He's a, he who is able to subdue all things to himself. And being head over all things to, to the church, this is what he's exerting this power for. It's in our interest. He's not sub, just subduing all things to himself for his own, for, like for his own amusement or entertainment. He doesn't like, like flex his muscles just to show the devil who's boss. He's, sub, he's head over all things to the church. It's for the saving of souls is why he has his power to subdue all things to himself. So he took up his own life again. There's coming a day. He's already begun to take up our life. But there's coming a day when he's going to take it up for eternity. So I suggest to you that we um, be more impressed with this man than you are with anyone else. Amen. And love this man more than you love anyone else or anything else. And abide in him. If you abide in him, then when he shall appear, you will not be ashamed before him. That's, right. That's where we want to be found Amen. is in him. Let's pray as uh, Brother Michael is going to have our class.